Aircraft like these form the backbone of the world's largest air force. The PLA boasts some 5,300 fighter planes. In the 1950s, they developed a huge industry to make their own planes. But while their numbers have outstripped the rest of the world, their technology has stagnated. I think the Air Force is a prime example of the difficulties which the Chinese have encountered in modernization. They have been unable to design and produce an aircraft of their own. The standard aircraft are still the Soviet planes which they acquired in the 1950s. hungrily at state-of-the-art Western aircraft, the Chinese have been simply unable to afford the massive price tag. Instead, they've settled for buying sophisticated improvements for their existing planes. Their problem is, these aircraft can't fly at night or even when it rains. They lack effective radar, missiles, and in-flight refueling. Just about everything a modern Air Force needs. Some experts say that even if these planes could find a target, they'd have difficulty in hitting it. I'm Chen Yao Wu. I joined the Air Force in 1984. I passed a very strict health checkup and the exam. Chen began his basic training like these other pilots. Not with sophisticated electronic gadgetry, but on this simple equipment designed to familiarize them with the pressure and disorientation that their bodies will encounter at high speed. After one year's elementary training, I'm now doing the advanced training. Quite a few people were eliminated during this period, but I'm still here, so I'm really happy. This plane is for coaching, a dummy plane. This is the sight device for determining distances. By adjusting it, you can line up the enemy plane with the dial and calculate precisely the anticipated position of the plane and the firing range and the angle for the shooting. When you activate these electronic switches, you then open this lid. This is the shooting button. You open it up and shoot down the attacking enemy planes. Well, that's the general idea. 